Hello and welcome to your first Shakespeare Sunday. My name is Emma, I'm the Press and Publicity Officer for the Shakespeare Society at the University of Bern. We've all gone home because of this whole virus pandemic that's happening, but worry not. Today we are going to be looking at iambic pentameter. What is iambic pentameter? Iambic pentameter is just a fancy way of telling people how many metrical feet are in a line or metrical beats and what type of foot they are. The pentameter bit is the word that lets you know how many feet slash beats are in the line. For pentameter, that's five. Now the first word is the one that lets you know what type of beat is in the line. Metrical feet are made up of a combination of stressed and unstressed syllables, a bit like a student. An I am is made up of an unstressed beat, then a stressed beat, and that makes one foot. An example of a line of iambic pentameter is I'd like to have another cup of tea. Or within Shakespeare itself, so foul and fair a day I have not seen from Macbeth. Shakespeare likes to make his noble characters speak in iambic pentameter, so you can often tell who's a bit higher ranking and who's a good character if they speak in iambic pentameter. However, just like uni life, iambic pentameter is not all plain sailing, so it is worth looking at speeches that are in iambic pentameter to see where they fluctuate and deviate from your standard iambic pentameter and this is a little trick that I'm going to teach you today. Now it's not my trick, it's a trick from the amazing Ben Crystal from his book Shakespeare on Toast. I massively massively recommend that. I have I have Hamlet's to be or not to be speech here because why not and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write some numbers right up here. So you're going to want to write the numbers 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 and these numbers. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to count how many syllables there are in each line. So to be or not to be that is the question. There are 11 syllables in that first line so you're going to put a little cross in your 11 column and you're going to want to do that counting all the syllables and all the line for the entirety of the speech. Once you've marked all your crosses, what you're going to do is you're going to then join the dots. And once you've joined the dots, all you're going to do is you're going to turn the paper sideways. And there you'll have a heartbeat monitor. If it is normal iambic pentameter, it should be running at this baseline here. However, by doing this little method, you can then identify the high points of the speech moments of high attention where the character uses more than their allotted um, meter to express a kind of spilling over of emotions and your lower points of the speech where they feel more relaxed or numb in this case. Using that method we can more easily identify what's going on inside a character's head for any of the Shakespearean speeches. You can use it for sections of dialogue as well as speeches, so it's a very multi-purpose tool to use. Massive thanks to Ben Crystal for coming up with this crazy idea, go out and check out the book, and we'll see you next week for more Shakespearean Sundays.